into the ocean, over the clouds and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake, and today we're going to meet one of the biggest animals, the Indian elephant. And one of the strangest animals. The human being. Humans are definitely the strangest animal on the planet. Well, Stinky, maybe humans think skunks are strange. <laughs> Don't be silly, Jake. Skunks are normal, like me. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> There's more strange stuff coming your way right after this. And now it's time for... It's amazing! Mm. Today, the incredible strength of the mighty elephant. Oh, do tell. Elephants are one of the strongest animals in the world. Stronger than me? An elephant can pull a half-ton weight using just its trunk. Oh, well, that's only about a half-ton more than I can pull. Because of its incredible strength, elephants are often used to move heavy logs through places where trucks and machines can't go. The mighty elephant. Another animal that makes me look like a pushover, and I'll make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> and now let's meet an animal who sometimes works with humans. From Nepal, Sri Lanka, Sumatra, Malaysia, Thailand, Laos, and India... India! Welcome Maxine, the Indian elephant. Uh, well, where's Maxine? Uh, I don't know. I guess we should look. Uh, uh, Maxine! 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 Ah! Oops! Oh, I do have a way of making an entrance, oh, don't oh, you? Oh, Maxine, are you all right? Just fine. Oh. Elephants are hearty animals. Yes. We can handle a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, you can even handle working with humans. <laughs> yeah, and we want to know all about that, but first we want to know more about Indian elephants. Mm. Gladly. Take a look. I think it's way over there. Oh, you brought pictures? Right. Indian elephants live in the grasslands and forests throughout Asia. Now, do elephants always live in groups like this? Some male elephants travel alone, but young elephants and female elephants always stay together in herds of about 20 or more. Oh, that's a cute little baby elephant. Thank you, Stinky. <laughs> but elephant babies are not very little. At birth, an elephant calf is about three foot high and weighs 200 pounds. Oh, they must have a healthy appetite. What kind of food do you eat? Grass, leaves, bark, twigs and fruit. We eat between 400 and 600 pounds of that food every day. Whoa, remind me not to get behind you at the salad bar. <laughs> oh, do that. Maxine, tell us more about working with humans. Yeah, what are humans really like? Actually, most humans are very kind to elephants. We Indian elephants have been working with humans for almost 5,000 years, wow. mostly helping to clear forests and as a means of transportation. Gee. We are easy to train and can remember more than 40 different human commands. Oh, look! That poor elephant is chained to a tree. He's being held captive. Oh, calm down, Stinky. Elephants don't need to be chained like that all the time. We are very loyal. Oh, yeah? Well, then why do humans chain you? Even the best trained elephant may wander off. More importantly, an elephant that is not chained can be dangerous. Dangerous? Yes. If we get frightened, we may stampede. And an 11,000 pound elephant could do a lot of damage. Well, it still doesn't sound like humans are very nice to you. Actually, most humans treat us with a great deal of respect. Yes, yeah, see, Stinky, humans can be kind. This, this man is cleaning the elephant's foot and polishing its toenails. People who work with elephants know we must be treated well if they want us to work hard for them. In fact, most humans will take care of our needs before they take care of their own. Oh, look where these elephants are going. This is the best part of the day. They're headed down to the river for a cool bath. You must get hot working so hard. Oh, yes, Jake. That water helps us to cool down. Oh, that is refreshing. Stinky, see how that human helped us with our bath. Isn't that nice? Not to me. I don't like taking a bath. <laughs> now that you've seen how we get along with humans, let me show you how we work with oh, them. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Humans value us for our remarkable strength. Not only do we help to knock down trees like this, but we also like to eat the leaves and bark that humans cannot use. Elephants can pull up to a thousand pounds, right? That's right, Jay. We can pull big logs like these without breaking a sweat. No, no wonder humans like elephants so much. You do all the work. <laughs> it's true that we do most of the heavy lifting, but this is very helpful to humans. Why is that? Well, a lot of the places where elephants work are very mountainous, like this area here. Well, what difference does that make? These places are so far away and difficult to get to that humans cannot bring in any machines to help them. We have to do the work of the machines. So without elephants, these humans wouldn't be able to get the wood they need to build things. Precisely. Of course, helping to harvest lumber isn't the only way we help humans. Isn't that enough? Elephants are also used for pulling plows, for getting across rivers, and of course for leading great religious processions. Oh, it's a good life. Uh, uh well, uh, thanks, uh, Maxine. <laughs> yeah, now we know what to expect when that human shows up. Mm -hmm. And if he thinks he's going to make me carry logs down <laughs> mountains, he's got another oh. think coming. Somehow, I doubt humans need log-carrying skunks. Yeah, you can never be too sure. Well, no time to worry about that now, Stinky, because it's time for... <gasps> Baby, Baby Talk! Maybe or not, I'm coming in, I think. Over here! Come and play with us! Hey. Oh, we're having fun, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. It looks kind of rough to me. Oh, come on! Come and play with us! Oh, you're loving it! It's fancy! Oh, you funny! All right, as long as you promise not to squish me, OK? Hey, Squirt, look at me. This is what I call swimming. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, that was great. You know, Stinky, elephants aren't the only animals that help humans. They aren't? Watch. African elephant. Oh, did you know that the Indian elephant is also known as the Asian elephant? Yes, I did. Oh, so I'm sorry, I can't answer your question, and that's all I know about elephants. Oh. Bye. Bye. We've got to get better at screening these animals. Gotcha. <clears throat> the correct answer is the African elephant. The African elephant is larger than the Indian or Asian elephant, but an even easier way to tell the two kinds of elephants apart is by their ears. The African elephant has larger ears, allegedly in the shape of the African continent. The African elephant also has larger tusks, 
darker gray skin and a longer and more wrinkled trunk than his cousin. Both kinds of elephants have feet, of course, but the African elephant has only three toenails, while the Asian elephant has four. And this just in, the highest point on an Asian elephant is the top of its head. The highest point of an African elephant is its shoulder. This is Rhonda Rat reporting on elephants. Back to you, Stinky and Jake. And now, from the cities, towns, and villages around the world, the world. welcome Dave the Human. Wow, this is so cool. At last, I'm finally here with the animals. What? Uh, and a penguin for a cameraman. What do they think of next? <laughs> well, welcome to the show, Dave. Uh, Jake yeah. the talking polar bear. Uh, what do you mean? All polar bears talk. But, and Stinky the talking skunk. <laughs> I think we got a weirdo here, Jake. Uh, just be nice and polite to the nice human. Oh, I, I'm really looking forward to telling you all about humans. Yeah! Whoa, well, let's get started! <laughs> yeah. yeah! Okay, uh, this is my home. Really? Which mm -hmm. one of those trees do you live in? Oh, I don't live in the trees. I live in that building there. Yeah, that's what we call a house. That's weird. And this is the bedroom of our house. Bedrooms are where humans sleep. Oh, oh look out! You're stepping on those poor, innocent animals! <laughs> no, no, those aren't animals. Oh, uh, they're called slippers. If you say so. Hey, look! Cubs! Oh, well, we humans call our cubs children or, or kids. And that's my wife. Well, why are you putting that thing over your cub's head? Oh, well, that's a shirt. Humans don't have fur, so we have to wear clothes to keep us warm. No fur? Gee, that's too bad. Oh, oh I love this, I love this. And now we're in the kitchen. What's that thing? Uh, that's the refrigerator. It's where we put food to keep it cold. Well, I wouldn't mind living there. <laughs> what are those things you're pulling out of the refrigerant? Re refrigerator. Refrigerator. Yeah, uh, that's juice and milk and all the ingredients we need to make a good breakfast. <laughs> Gee, why don't you just go outside and dig up some grub worms like I do? <laughs> well, not many humans like to eat grub worms. You don't like to eat grub worms? That's weird. Huh. Well, now, what is your uh, uh, wife doing there? Uh, well, she's going to cook eggs in that frying pan for our children to eat. Oh, you have a very cute cub. I mean, kid. Oh, well, thanks. Uh, we think so, too. Uh, we call him Ben. Oh, hi there, little Ben. <laughs> but why is he sticking that silver thing in his mouth? Oh, uh, that's a fork. Uh, it's a tool we humans use to eat our food. Uh, humans use tools and machines for all kinds of things. To build houses, to brush our teeth, even to clean dirt off of the floors. Uh, look. You clean dirt off of floors? But dirt is so soft and comfortable. Well, why are you wrestling with that noisy creature there? Oh, oh, that's not a creature, Jake. That's a tool we call a vacuum cleaner. Hey, why are you making that snake cry? <laughs> That's not a snake, Stinky. It's a hose. We use it to water the grass. And we cut the grass with tools like lawn mowers and trimmers. Huh, so, so, so humans like short, wet grass. How very interesting. Hey, there's a very furry human. No, that's not a human, Stinky. That's a dog. He's playing a game with Ben. Oh, oh she's adorable. Uh, that's Amy. She really loves to swing back and forth like that. Hi, Amy. And here we are watching your show. Wait a minute, I didn't know humans watched our show. Oh, sure. Humans love to learn all about animals. Do humans get along with other species? Mostly. Uh, in fact, a few species, like dogs and cats, will sometimes even uh, live with humans. They must be very brave. Oh, Stinky, we, we humans really aren't that bad. Most of us really want to protect the wildlife. Well, you seem pretty nice, but I still think humans do some strange stuff. Strange stuff? Well, what do you mean? Well, why are you sticking your paws in water and splashing them around for no good reason? Oh, uh, I'm just washing some dishes there. Humans eat our food off of dishes. Are your kids and, and your wife washing dishes too? <laughs> no, she's giving them a bath. Doesn't she just lick them clean? <laughs> That's not how humans take baths. How odd! I told you humans were strange, Jake. Stinky. Be careful, Dave. There's a giant white beast waiting outside your burrow. That's not a beast, Stinky. It's oh. a... Oh, no, you're going right toward it. No, Stinky. The beast. It's eating you alive. <laughs> I can't watch this. It ate you. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, Stinky. Stinky, I'm trying to tell you that that's not a beast. It's called an automobile, and it's just another machine that humans use. Well, what do you use it for? 
Well, we use it to do work and to travel from place to place. Oh, oh, just like humans in India use the Indian elephant to work and travel. Right. Well, thanks, Dave. It's wonderful to have had you on the show. We've learned a lot about human beings today. And now I was wondering if you could join Maxine, the Indian elephant, to sing a song. Ooh. Oh, that would, that would be so cool. Thanks. Oh, good. And now here's Dave, the strange but nice human, <laughs> and Maxine the Elephant singing the Teamwork Song. Teamwork. We call it teamwork. And so it means work split in two. One of us will go and haul a train. Yes, while well, one of us will pour a cup of tea. That's teamwork. You call that teamwork? There's, <laughs> There's always, always been work to do. Man has the brains to make a tool. I need my strength, so I'll rest in the pool. <laughs> teamwork, that's the golden rule. It works for me and you. Teamwork, you call that teamwork? Yes, there's it's always been, been work to do. The thing that matters in the end, we, we can, can call each other friend. Teamwork, that's the golden rule. It works for me. Now it's time for Animal Awards. Yeah. Which of the following animals lives the longest? Oh, is it my great uncle Methuselah the chicken hawk? No! Mm. The nominees for oldest animal are the tortoise. Oh, yeah. The human being. Kind of looks like my uncle Methuselah. The clam. Oh, that's nice. Or the elephant. And the winner is. Tortoises can live to be more than 150 years old. While humans live up to 120 years, clams 100 years, and elephants 78 years. Well, congratulations to all you old timers. And to the tortoise, winner of today's Animal Award. Hmm, boy, Jake, humans sure are different from us. Well, that's true, but they also have a lot in common with the rest of the animal world. For instance? Well, they like stories, especially stories like this one. <clears throat> Once upon a time, the elephant royal family came to the ancient town of Kandy. The humans who lived there were so excited that they all came out to see the beautiful elephants walk down the street. They lit great torches, played drums, and came out in hundreds to follow in the slow and dignified royal elephant's footsteps. Let's turn on our headlights so the humans can see us better, said the elephants. And they even allowed some particularly lucky humans to ride on their backs. The humans were so happy to see the beautiful elephants that they danced in the streets. The festivities went on all through the night, a fitting tribute to a truly magnificent animal. So the elephant royal family and the humans lived happily ever after. The end. Wow, Jake. That was a good story. It had elephants, it had humans. It was almost perfect. I left out the skunks, didn't I? Keep trying, Jake. You'll get it right. Oh. And now it's habitat time. And I'm ready to see humans. Where are we going? New York City or uh, Los Angeles? India. Ooh, India. Yeah, oh, yeah. They got a lot of humans there, huh? <laughs> Uh, oh, wait a second. Th these are elephants, right? Come on, Armstrong. Okay, so where are the humans? I don't know. I don't see any here. Those are chittles, a kind of deer. Thirsty little devils, aren't they? The females and fawns have come down to the water hole to drink. It's a nice spot. Who? Oh, and speaking of nice spots. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, look, small, hairy humans. Hey, I didn't know they had such long tails. Look they don't, Armstrong. Lanker monkeys do, which is what those are. Oh, and what's that, Miss? I know all the animals in India. The Mongols. Ooh, 
Tuareg's a pheasant tail jacana. <laughs> and there is a bee eater. Really? Yes. Ah, and that's a peacock. Wow. I may not know my humans, but I know my birds. Oh, look, another uh, chittle. Right! Only, only this one's a male. You can tell by the antlers. Oh, and that's a sunbird. You can tell by the feathers. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, Armstrong, look! An Indian bison! It's very rare! Well, not as rare as humans. We haven't seen one. Well, that's because we're not in the right place. Yeah, she does. <laughs> There's a tiger. Don't let him see it. Oh, no, he saw us. Oh, quick! Uh, oh, Armstrong, over here! What? Oh, hey, that looks like some kind of rhinoceros. Yes, it's an Indian one-horned rhino, another very rare animal. Oh, well, uh, that crested serpent eagle isn't so rare and almost as good-looking as a chicken. Oh, hey, look, monkeys again. All right, Bunny, I give up. There's not a human to be found out here, so let's go home. Who needs to see human beings when they've seen Indian bison? Yeah, and that sunbird wasn't bad either. <laughs> For habitat time, it's Bunny Bear. And I'm strangling the chicken hook. Just back from India. Over to you, Randa. Uh, you know I'm rolling. Once again, I'm Rhonda Rapp, rodent reporter, giving you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Ma'am. Yes? Can you answer this question? Which of these animals is a human? Oh, which is human? Gee, I'd have to say, none of them are human. They all look so different. So, uh... Then you would be wrong because each and every one of these animals is a human. They come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. And they're all human beings. Reporting on humans, I'm Rhonda Rat. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake. Thanks, Rhonda. Well, that's all we have time for today. And I'd like to thank our guests, Maxine the Indian Elephant and Dave the Human Being. Hey, Dave sent us a gift. Oh. He said you like the way machines help humans, so here's a machine to help you. Gee, I, I wonder how this thing could help. Well, let's turn it on and find out. What do you mean, turn it on? Ah. Oh. Oh. That's very Oh, look out, Stinky, look out! Oh, 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 Jake, Jake, help, help, oh. Jake, Jake. Oh, well, until next time, keep on seeing the world through the eyes of animals. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Oh.